All right, this is going to be an update to my converter install, and then we'll do a review, but I had to go to Home Depot, and I'm going to add this 8-gauge wire and shorten it, the connection between the converter and the battery. So I'm going to try to show what's going on here. Uh, the converter inputs here into the circuit board, and then there's two red 12 volt 8 gauge wires here that come out those two are right here and they split off one goes to this one here and then one goes to here this one here goes to that bus bar down there i don't know if we're going to be able to see this here but one positive you can see right there goes to that bus bar and I believe that's for the items that have to stay on, like the trailer emergency trailer brakes, that kind of thing. And then there's another wire that goes to the battery switch. It goes out this hole out here. And that's the one I'm going to disconnect and uh, hook direct to the battery. That way, it's uh, only a four-foot run. So what they're telling me, what was happening is my converter is going back to lead acid. And uh, this latest firmware, they should should work. And they give me things. They sent me an email with all these things to check first. And one of the things is the distance to your battery. They recommend less than 10 feet. Well, I added up everything because I hooked my lithium directly to where the old battery ran. And I've got close to 20 feet of wire run. So we're going to shorten that way up and we'll see how that goes. So... So that 12 volt comes out down there and goes under the camper over to that switch, over to the cutoff switch. So we're pretty much going to eliminate that. We're going to hook it to my switch here and uh, about that cable and that's what we're going to do now. Show you what I did here on the battery side. I have my new cable right there. See if I can point this out. It's uh... <laughs> I'm blind trying to do this. It's this one right here. And uh, so then when I turn the switch off, I'll turn that off. So this is going to go from, this is coming from the converter to charge a battery. It's only four feet long and it goes, it uh, goes down there into those holes that go into the, where the control panel is. All right, so here's our wire coming from the switch and uh, it's going to get tied into this one. This is the one that goes underneath the trailer and it goes under the bed can't see it, but the control panel's down here underneath the bed with a switch, and then it goes all the way back out to the hitch where I have my original wire. So that's what we're doing. Okay, I think we're wired in. I, I spliced it in here to this wire nut here. That goes out to that switch. And this uh, old one is right here. That's the one that goes under the camper. I cut it off and then taped it off. I just taped it here. That way, if I have to return it to the old way, I can do that without any problems. And then the old cutoff switch that's underneath the bed outside, I'll turn that off so there's no current flowing through there. And we'll see how this goes. So here's my original battery cutoff switch, which I don't need now. And then this will cut any power from this switch back to the battery the way it was originally. But it'll still have power up to this switch by the way I wired it. So this is my new cutoff switch here, and uh, that'll cut off everything. And so that runs down into here, underneath my trailer, all the way over here to the original battery connect, which was right there. You can see my wire there. And then it goes back from there, back to that switch. And then from that switch, it came all the way into the control panel in there. And so I was measuring that all up and it was close to 20 feet of wire. So I think that's gonna help 20 feet down to four. I won't have the voltage drop. So it's been three hours and 15 minutes since I started this. And this thing is working a lot better, the converter. It's uh, went from 52% to 98% in three hours and less than 15 minutes. Um, it's really cranking out the amps way better than it was before It did 55 amps for a long time. Um, it's still not on Lithium yet if you look down here 
I don't know if this is going to show up on my camera. It doesn't look like it. There, you can see the green in there. So it's still not yet on uh, lithium. So we'll see when that happens. Uh, when it gets fully charged, we'll see how that goes. But this is working way better. Um, I didn't realize how much voltage drop I was getting. Because my... It, the other old converter never worked this good and I've been using this one for a few days and it never did charge it up this fast so we'll see how this goes and see what we end up with so it's been exactly three and a half hours and we got it all the way to 300 amp hours so it worked really well uh, however it has, still has not switched over to lithium to the blue uh, LED yet and uh, we'll do some more testing and so I think we're going to end this video update here on the converter. Uh, I can't get it to go back. Initially, when I hooked this up, you saw in the first video, it went to lithium. And I'm not able to do that. But you can see here, it's really cranking out the amps. And I'm at 83%. But yesterday, when I took it down to 37, it was cranking out the amps at the full 55 amps that the converter can put out. So by changing my wiring, that did uh, help charging the battery faster i never had it that high even with the new converter before i changed that wire it was only at 30 amps so that significantly increased the charging so i'm gonna send an email back to wifco and see if i can get the jumper so it'll stay in the lithium mode you can put a jumper on the couple of pins in there that's real easy to do a lot of people have done that so that's probably what i'm gonna have to do i think it's just a resistor on the couple of pins in there all right, there's a couple more points I wanted to make here. I wanted to make sure everybody knew I was not using my solar panel in this uh, testing over the last few days that I've been using my converter. So no solar input was in on this. And then I was looking at the specs of my battery and it actually says, it all actually calls out for charging from 14.2 to 14.6. So 14.4 plus or minus 0.2 volts is acceptable for charging this battery so we're good on the lead acid mode on this converter however you know i did email with co and i haven't heard back yet but i wanted to get this video out there and uh, i'll i'll be doing future videos on this but i did email them give them all the specs and they had a bunch of questions for me to answer on why you know we're having this trouble and i asked for a jumper on here like I stated earlier, and hopefully they'll send that to me. I also just asked what the specs on the resistor is for the for the jumper, and I could just do that myself. So that's the couple points I wanted to make here.